uh, east side of the uh, Delta Air State, inbound, full stop. Tower 739 are uniform echo, Casper Tower. Roger, thanks for Juliet, sir. Wind uh, 230 at 30, gust 46. Do you have a preference on one, which runway you'd like? Yeah, let me take, uh, if I can, runway 21. I, I want to I wanna stay facing the wind. I don't want to turn my back or turn aside to it. So 21 if possible. Number 9. Number 9 are uniform echo. That's approved as requested, sir. Uh, maneuver as necessary for runway 21. Runway 21, clear to land. 21, clear to land. Ground, speed air 4826. Speed air 4826, Casper Ground, go ahead. I need someone to get the ground crew down here radio. I do apologize, but uh, they, the wind seems to have uh, basically been pushed back into a tailwind. We need to get the aircraft moved, and their headsets seem to have stopped working. I have no way to contact them. I need to be able to tell them that I, I can't be in this position, and there's nothing for me. I can, there's no way for me to tell them. 4826, we will call ops uh, right now. We'll get right on that. I was, uh, was kind of watching how they were pushing you back. I didn't know how that was all going to work out. Appreciate it. Wind 230 at 39er, gust 49er. Junior 4826, we can't get a hold of anybody at Ops. We're going to call our crash house and see if we can get the pickup truck to come and uh, relay that way. I was finally able to get a, get a hold of them. So I, one of the guys had to work on their headset, so now we're good. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Wind 230 at 43, gust 49er. Over oh, Niner Uniform Echo, nicely done, sir. That was uh, uh, that was pretty impressive. Turn left Alpha Six, taxi to parking via Alpha. This frequency. Park with you, Niner Uniform Echo. This wind dies down. We'll be back up again today. So I'll talk to you soon or tomorrow. Thank you. Anytime. Ground Commander Forty Eight Twenty Six. Commander Forty Eight Twenty Six. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the tow team here. They look like we having some issues. They're having to unhook the tow now, and then they're going to hook us back up again to continue the tow. Uh, so I'm hoping we're still going to be able to. we got 10 minutes for our wheels up time. Hopefully we'll be able to make it. If they can get us pushed into the correct position in the next, you know, two or three minutes, we should be fine. But hopefully we don't have to push back that wheels up time. Commuter 4826, <laughs> Roger. I will call TMU just preemptively and see what the delays look like. Uh, I'm sure that they can work with us a little bit but I'll make sure that it won't be a, a lengthy delay for you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, hey, deal with that. You guys just had a plane crash. We got him. We got him. Ground, commuter 4826. If you haven't seen it, you had a plane crash on the edge of runway 21. I'd advise you to get crash rescue. Yes, sir. We've got the crash. We've got the crash vehicles moving. Number 9 Uniform Echo, Casper, Casper Tower. November 9 Uniform Echo, Casper Tower. Tower Sherry 1. Sherry 1, Casper Tower, proceed via Alpha Alpha 6. Proceed via Alpha Alpha 6. Sherry 1, it appears that they've exited the aircraft. It, it, it appears they're okay, but uh, they are flipped over there. Contact. Commander 4826, Casper Ground, we're going to have to push that time back. Reference uh, reference the aircraft that's in the safety area flipped over, and and we will uh, we'll let you know when, when we can make something work. Okay, great, thank you. Yeah, we're uh, we're moving out of the way now. I think we have to talk to the company as well. Commander 4826, Roger, we'll let you know when we can reevaluate. 